Rank 4 was easy, you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. <laughs> to remove pieces that you have already put down, move the right stick down. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. But there's no reason to do that because we have to collect the jiggies anyway and open each world in order. Now we can go to Treasure Trove Cove! Treasure Trove Cove is open! We can go in there now! That's just a line I like to say when I was little. Uh, who's this girl? Hello there, young ones! I'm Brentada! Brentada's a nicer sister! I crept down here to help you defeat the old hag! It's about time she has taught a lesson! I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets! I'll tell you three of them every time you find me! Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press X if you like to hear them. So yeah, it's kind of important here. It's all the princess are rotten teeth with salted slug. My return paste. She also washes her hair with rancid milk. Yuck. And she gets her clothes from the witch's warehouse. So yeah, a little fairy godmother here. Um, so, yeah, that's the only puzzle we can complete for now. Nothing else we can do yet. Well, there is, but we'll worry about that momentarily. Let's come in here real quick. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two the same color to create a shortcut. Yeah, two of the same color. That is a typo that they have never, ever fixed for the 18 years this game has been out. It's ridiculous. Uh, wonder what's in here, actually. It's another puzzle with only one piece built. Yeah. Remember this place well. Because we will be coming back here. And yep, yeah, see hidden mumbo tokens. You want to watch out for those. My belly's big, it's rather neat. It's years since I've seen my feet. Ugly Crunchy's nickname was Jelly Belly at which school? I also know that putrid parrot puke is their favorite smell. And the yellow hag's favorite color is Doug Brown. And hit an extra life. You don't really need lives too badly, but they may come into play for, well, a couple areas of the game. Um. Let's head to World 2 Treasure Trove Cove. Ahoy there! This be Treasure Trove Cove! There be two new moves for ye to find! Yeah, I like the little pirate talk, even though there's not much piratey action we have here. Oh yeah, that's Snacker. He's pretty cool. Don't worry, he's just trying to kiss you, but we're not gay, so we're not gonna accept that. Anyway. Hey, this Nipper speech. You find nothing without Nipper's help, I grab. Help us then, crustacean brain! Grr, sticky bird needs feathers flipping. Oh yeah, just tight, shellhead! Here's another sort of mini boss. Grr, you hurt Nipper. Makes me mad. Bye bye, Nipper. With that done, we can enter his little shell. And then he's just gone for some reason, like he packed up and headed out the back exit. <laughs> he's afraid of us now. And yeah, here's his little home buds. Gonna protect, protect him from us, but he's gonna kill them. One thing about the enemies, um, unlike Banjo Tooie, enemies do not respawn as long as you're within the world and you don't die. Like, even if we enter build enter buildings like the shell here and then come out, like wherever you killed an enemy in the world, it will stay dead indefinitely. 
And its honeycombs will actually just remain on the ground, so if you need help, you can just come back and pick them up. Might be in your best interest to just clear out all the enemies you can, just so they don't get in your way later. It's a, it's a relatively pretty world. Um, yeah, it's beach theme. Not so much pirate theme. There's only there's only one pirate here. Oi there, I be blubber stranger. Gonna find that I'm gonna do a lot. I'm gonna start a lot of missions without actually getting them, just because I can, you know. Oh, poor baby. What do you want? Oi, that be happily good. <laughs> Here you'll find a mumbo token. We <laughs> treasure, thank you, Miardi. Take this reward. I'm off to spend, spend. And that clam over there is kind of floating. Oh, ball well, was frozen in midair for a minute. It's gonna kill you. Those clams, if they hurt you, you will lose your ammunition and it will eat, like, your eggs and feathers. Oh, we never had feathers yet. We are the red feather. I love Kazuko and she knows how. This is your big chance, chicken legs! It's time for you to fly! At last! It better be easy! Bye, guys! Simple enough even for you, bird brain! To stand on a flying disc and press A! Here's 25 to help you under the air! See you! Well, we're not gonna use it yet. First, we're gonna drop, drop down here. Oh, Momo token. Uh, before I do any flying, which, by the way, my favorite mechanic in this game, uh, we're going to get another ability and do other stuff. You'll reach new heights with my suction spring! Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. So we set off such a distance, press and hold A. Nice going, you've learned all the codes and their moves. Yeah, Kazooie really does all the abilities, pretty much. Hey, Leaky, no good. Oh, never mind, you fixed me. Leaky patched up, now empty water for bear. Cause I'm magic, baby! Ha ha! Ha ha! So you want to hop over here, get these notes, do do do. Now we're going to go in the sandcastle. Quite a special room in here, actually. Hey, Fireball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. What you want to do here is simply spell what it says on the wall there. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Kazooie, do 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 do. So I never quite explained the layout of these worlds. I mean, yeah, they're basic, uh, basic environments, but the entirety of the game takes place in Grunty's lair. Like, these are all artificial worlds that Grunty creates with her magic, and she pretty much controls all the creatures and everything inside, for the most part. The gate opens to reveal your prize. First, I'll cut you down to size. Uh, never mind, you killed me. <laughs> yeah. Basically, a stronger version of the crab, and you only see it once. Not really a problem. Um. Yeah, it's not really the only thing you can do in here. There's other stuff, but we'll get to that later on. Now, oh, there's Mumbo Token. Yeah, I get one of the advantages of the Xbox version is it has better draw distance. Yeah, that Mumbo Token is actually easily missed because 
Well, it's relatively far, and it would just fade off screen. Thankfully, we can see it, and we can get it now. Well, even if we can, I remembered its location anyway. Uh, we'll just collect these notes up here real quick. Uh, yeah. One thing to remember, Banjo does not have a ledge grab like he does in Banjo-Tooie. So, yeah. It makes... it just, um... take away from the challenge anyway. please. Yeah, think about the shock jump disc. You don't really have to stay on it in order to use it. You just have to jump while you're on it and that will... And you can just... And like after you jump, you can pretty much move off of it and that would give you some better distance when you actually use it. In fact, for certain areas, you will have to do it like that. Whoopsie. Um, one thing that's a recurring theme with the Rare games... For each world, each world has its own soundtrack, and depending on the area you're in for that world, you'll have other soundtracks. Which are pretty much, uh, remixes. It's a really cool theme, they did it for this game, Banjo-Tooie, and Donkey Kong 64. So, just head out here, really far away, get this honeycomb piece, and HA! <laughs> I kinda glitched that. Smacker fades away after, um, you know, you're on land long enough, and even though I got back in water, you still faded. Look, nice snacks for Yum Yum! Uh, nothing special in here, just feathers. And I don't think there's anything in there. Oh, oh yeah, there, yeah, there is. I knew there was notes in one, but I just didn't remember where at the moment. We want some most important collectibles are Jiggies and Notes, because both of those will help you advance in the game. But hey. We're gonna get all the collectibles because the game demands it. Except extra lives, because, yeah, pointless one-ups. And they're just gonna respawn anyway. Have to leave the world. Whoopsie. Yeah. Camera controls are a thing. A bad thing, actually. We'll go up there later, anyway. Doesn't matter. So, here's a little hidden area. Well, not really hidden. Well, just kind of out of the way, pretty much. But, uh, let's come through here. Boom. Get another jiggy. And look at this chest, there are two Mumbo Tokens! Yeah, generous game be generous. The thing is, not every world will have a Mumbo transformation, which is quite unlike Banjo-Tooie. Yeah. Banjo-Tooie was way better with the puzzles and the missions, like, look at all these Jiggies. There's just so many dead giveaway Jiggies in this game, but Banjo-Tooie has um, the greater mission variety. And there's a transformation in each world in Banjo-Tooie, and there's a lot of significant use you can use of the transformations, and I pretty much just do it better, to be honest. I still like this game for what it is. It's more happy-go-lucky. Banjo-Tooie is... It, it's actually a lot more serious. Well, to an extent. I mean, it's harder for one thing. 
So, same deal as with the Jiggy, except we get a Mumbo token. So, let's use flying for the first time. Oh, there's a Mumbo token behind! Okay. Fly high, you'll need some red feathers! Press A to use one! But remember that Pikachu can only carry 50 of them! And you can also turn sharply while in the air by pressing the right or left bumper! So yeah, what's this honeycomb doing out here? Oh, it's a honeycomb piece! Wow, what do you know? Haha, <laughs> I knew about that. I did not remember that Mumbo token yet. I don't quite remember all the Mumbo tokens, but I will try to get them. Like, I really didn't remember that one at all. So, lucky me. I suppose now that we're up here... Okay, this is the one with the eggs. Not relevant. Oh yeah, the teeth hurt you, watch out. Not important though. So, now we're going to fly once again. Uh, oh. Uh. Wait. This shouldn't be open. That, this really shouldn't be open. This shouldn't be open. But we're gonna go in here anyway. Um. So this is a uh, shark bait island, by the way. It's a uh, shark food island. Uh, it's just a little platforming stage. Doing basic jumps. There's supposed to be a shock jump disc at the end, but I guess they got rid of it, because, you know, stupidness. Ooh, an egg! That's one of those seven stop and swap items we've been looking for. I reckon it'll unlock something special in my nuts and bolts adventure. Can't wait! These are not supposed to be open yet! You're supposed to enter a secret code in the sand castle over there. Uh, yeah, yeah, right there. It will open these secret areas, then we can get the stop and swaps. But for some reason they're already open, even though I've never played this version of the game. Remember in the N64, if you unlocked it for one file, it would unlock for all the other files in the rest of the game, so we won't have to do it again. But... I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. But, on the other hand, I guess it saves us some trouble. It just, it kind of removes the specialness of it all, but whatever. I'm not even going to get Nuts and Bolts. Um, oh, I kind of want to see Nuts and Bolts, but I'm not too excited just because it's not the same. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll get those notes later, but there's, um, yeah, flying. My favorite ability in this game is because you can get across the world faster. You know, you don't really have to go up that path again, you can just fly here now. But I keep want, keep thinking we have a certain ability that we don't have yet. But all the clue is if you're looking for gold. <laughs> There's an ability that helps you fly faster, but we don't have it yet. Um, would, would actually really help here, but what can you do? So basically, fly to each of the X marks, hit the X's, boom bada boom. Book by the book. Stop and swap codes anymore. Is there a number token down there? I feel like there should be some collectible down there. Huh. 
I'm just... Err, no. Maybe it's over there? Uh, I'm just kind of paranoid after that one incident. Oh, why am I doing that? We can just go over here. I don't know why I don't use Talent Trot more often, though. jump platforms, but we can fly, so why not just do it this way? Ah, he'll never find me now! Meh <laughs> 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 shit, you found me. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, here's Mom Cup House. Alright, so yeah, that pretty much covers that. Yikes! Please! No! Ow! Oh, oh, you didn't have a chance to tell me that was gently. Oh. So, um, yeah. Only three Jiggies left to collect in this world. Um, about the Mumbo Tokens, there's not really a set number of Mumbo Tokens in each world. Like, it's kind of randomized, so you really want to watch out. Tilda's booty! Touch it if you dare! Touched it. That golden treasure was for me! Now harder still the game will be! Yeah. And look at this one little bitty note, so lovely! But with that, we can access the top of the world. Actually, we're at the top of the world. You bet awarded a gamer pick! Lucky you! When we're at the top of the world, uh, the music just kind of vanishes. Well, didn't really do that for Momo's Mountain. It's a really pretty effect, though. Shock jump disc that we don't need, because we can just run up here, and we have to run up here anyway because there's notes. Where that is. <laughs> and that covers Bumbo tokens for this world. That covers the notes for this world. And this covers the jiggies for this world. Here, now, who wants to learn a nifty little trick? You ground pound, you move over the edge during the post ground pound jump, you do not take fall damage. Boom, I get down without taking damage. Ain't I pro? So yeah, there's pretty much 11 Mumbo tokens in this world. Quite a lot, actually. I want to keep an eye out for them. So yeah, that was the cannon that fired. They can, you really can go up there if you want. But we really want to be going up here. And boom. Trove Cove is officially completed. Especially since we don't have to input the Sun Swap codes anymore.
But with our newfound ability, called the Shock Jump, we can go back down here... ...and do this. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press the right trigger! Yeah. Or the Z button. Clinker's Cavern is open! We can go in there now! Activated a magic cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. And there's a bumbo token down there, so yeah. That's all I can do in this room again. We'll have to come back to this room one more time, but we don't have to worry about it at the moment. Oh, whoopsie. So if we just head up here, we have access to Clinker's Cavern. There's a little button here, we'll see where that goes later on. Token, and with that, next time, Clinker's Cavern.